Hey Fingsters, in, in today's video I want to explain you quickly how the NumPy Linspace function works. So it's a uh, like illustrated guide, so let's dive right into it. So um, NumPy, you may know the NumPy library, it's um, for numerical computations in Python and it's like the basis of everything. It's uh, it's the basis of scikit-learn, of, um, uh, it's the basis of pandas, of uh, TensorFlow of all of plotting things in Python like matplotlib lib library. It's the basis of machine learning models and so on. So NumPy is really it's everywhere in uh, Python. So you need to understand NumPy. And one important function is the NumPy linspace function. It's it's often very frequently to uh, create NumPy arrays. Okay, so here you have a um, the, you call the NumPy linspace function with a start and stop arguments the remaining arguments are like optional arguments you don't need to define them and then you create a number of values so say you set start to zero and stop to 40 per default the endpoint is included so the element the 40 element is included and then you have the number of sample data points here in this case you have um you have like five points so you would uh, have overwritten the num variable num argument with five okay so let's let's have a look at uh, the linspace function in uh, practice so in a um, concrete python shell and we will just play around a bit with the with the arguments and the different uh, ways to manipulate the uh, function okay so first of all we import numpy snp this is the default uh, numpy um, import statement and we create we use linspace to create say an interval between minus three as a start value and three as a stop value okay and you see it's much less complicated as the one one i have described here here we have a lot of um arguments possible arguments where, uh, that we can use to set up the function but in but you my in the most simplest form you can just use it like this now we print the argument and we see okay so we have um like 50 different elements this is by default 50 different um, elements in our numpy array so it's a, it creates a one-dimensional numpy array starting with minus three ending in plus three it per default it uses float as the data type of the array and um, yeah so what if you if, if these are too many too many elements so you want to like reduce the number of data points then of course you can set um, the num argument to say five now we have only five um, data points execute this and you see okay we have uh, like here uh, numpy one dimension numpy array again again starting with minus three as the start value and plus three as the end value uh, evenly spaced inter um, sub intervals or step sizes and yeah we have five elements so now the step size is minus five okay so uh, what happens if you define the other argument so for example you can have uh, you can exclude the endpoint by default it is true but you can also set endpoint equals false and then in this case we will have three as um we will exclude three as the endpoint so three will not be part of the endpoint but still we have like um uh, one yeah 1 1.8 which is the uh, so we still have a um an evenly spaced um evenly spaced interval okay but uh usually it's best to include the endpoint and um then you can also set the red space red for a red red step argument per default it's false but you can you can set it to true and this uh, is short for return step and this returns the step size as well so now now it returns a tuple where the first the first tuple value is oh sorry the first tuple value is the array you have already seen yeah starting with minus three and ending with three and then having evenly spaced intervals and now but it automatically calculates the space between the intervals yeah based on the number of data points you want to have and um yeah so now it's uh, if you set red step red step to true then it will also return as a second tuple value it will return the um step size of the um of the of the spaces yeah so this is like this can be quite useful and many many actually don't know it okay but let's switch it off and uh yeah now we can also set the d, uh, d type argument so say we set it to um 
to the integer value now instead of float. So you see here we have floats. Now what happens if we set it to int? Then you see we get a NumPy array um, with integers instead of floats. Okay, so it's more readable now. And uh, but it also has to do implicit integer conversion, obviously. Okay, so here we see the step size would be 0.5, 1.5, but the, uh, in our case it's now like here we we uh, instead of having minus 0.5, 1.5 here we round down to uh, minus one. So basically it's a round up to minus one. So basically it will then just just perform default integer conversion. Okay, so let's dive into the uh, like um, difference between uh, NumPy lin, lin space and the arrange function. So this is an often um, asked question. So what is the difference between uh, lin space and the arrange function? So let's check. So we can have b NumPy arrange function and the ar arrange function also takes a start and a stop uh, argument, but also a step size instead of a number of data points. So here we ha can have a number of data points is um, so we can set it to, to 10 for example, but here we can have also a start value and a stop value and then we can have a step size, say we set the set step size to 0.5. Uh, and then we need to print the array B. Let's refresh the share output. Okay, so here you see um, so this is this is our uh, our, our uh, lint space function. Our lint space function creates an evenly spaced interval between start and stop. So it automatically calculates the interval size, and you define the number of data points you have. So you you define so say you want to divide an interval in ten um, ten sub intervals, then you just give the num equals ten argument. For a uh, numpy arrange, you give the step size. So you need to calculate the step size if you want to obtain a certain number of uh, data samples, okay? So in this case, we have uh, like minus, we also start with minus three, we end in three, excluded this time. So the end point argument is uh, false per default in a NumPy arrange. And uh, you have a certain step size, which is like 0.5 in this case. So the difference between two numbers is 0.5. And here the difference is dynamically computed by, I mean, it's given implicitly by the number of data points you have in your certain interval. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. That's it. the course idea of the um, of the NumPy lint space function. Uh, if you liked uh, this video um, and you want to learn more about uh, Python NumPy, Python NumPy library, which is the basis of all data science in Python, then check out my book Coffee Break NumPy. It's a book I've published maybe half a year or quarter, uh, maybe maybe ten months ago. And it has uh, sold like thousands of copies and it's very popular these days. And it's like it's a fun way to, to um, learn NumPy by solving NumPy uh, puzzles. So you can just Google Coffee Break NumPy and you will find the book. Okay, thanks for listening to, uh, to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.